Hi class, I'd like to go over three of the basic financial statements for you and the order in which they're prepared. Okay, so I have this fictitious company uh, made it up called Kailua Kayaks and Canoes. So we're going to start with the income statement. Okay, the income statement is always the first financial statement that you make. So over here in highlight entitled income statement. Okay, so the way you head up an income statement or any financial statement is you, you always start with the company's name, what the statement is, and then you have your date date label on, on that statement. Okay, so in this case, it's Kailua Kayaks and Canoes income statement for the year, ended, year ending December 31st, 2015. Okay, on an income statement, what we're trying to depict is the company's net income. So the company's net income is always going to be the difference between its revenue and its, and its expenses. Okay. So in this case, our company, Kailua Kayaks and Canoes, had $2.4 million in revenue. So you could equate that to its sales, what its gross is, okay, gross earnings. And then all of these expenses, salaries expense, rent expense, income tax expense, legal expense, they all total up to 648000 So the difference between the revenue and the total expenses ends up being a net income number of $1.752 million. Now, just for discussion, had those expenses been more than the revenue, Say we had 2.5 million in expenses, we would have what we call a net loss. See how that comes out to be a negative number? So a lot of times our income statement is labeled, the net income line is labeled net income, then in parentheses net loss. Um, so if we did have a net loss, then that would mean that our expenses exceeded our revenue. But in this case, uh, we don't have that situation. We have a situation where our, our revenue exceeds our expenses by 1.752 million. So we do have a positive figure on our bottom line, which is our net income line, and uh, we do have net income. So we have to first, Number one, we prepare the income statement. So I'll put a one there. That's the first statement we do. Now the second statement we do, or we prepare, would be what we call our statement of retained earnings. All right. So in a statement of retained earnings, what has to happen, and I'll come over here and show you what that statement of retained earnings looks like. Okay. So retained earnings are what the company holds on to from year to year. So it's a cumulative figure. So you're going to have a carry forward from the prior year. So in this case, in my scenario here, Kailua, Kailua Kayaks and Canoes has Retain earnings carried over from 2014 of 250,000. Okay. Then what we do is we add the current year's net income to that beginning retained earnings figure amount, that carryover figure amount. So you notice I'm pulling that net income from my income statement, which is the first statement that we prepare over to my retained earnings statement. I make a subtotal. So I take my re beginning retained earnings, add that net income. I have a subtotal of 2,002,000. Okay. Now take a look at the Kailua kay uh, Kayaks and Canoes, how we head up the retained earnings statement. Same format as the income statement. It's just that it's titled Statement of Retained Earnings. I want you to make note of the date here. Um, for both the income statement and the retained earnings statement, we use a date that covers a time frame. So our date is for a year. Okay, both of these financial statements are keeping track of activity over a 
time frame, and in this case, the time frame is a year. Okay, so that's why it's dated that way for the year ending. Okay. Now, what we end up doing after we get the subtotal on the retained earning statement, that first subtotal, we're going to subtract any dividends that the company paid, right? And that's going to give us the ending retained earnings. Okay, the retained earnings as of that financial statement end date, December 31st, 2015. Okay, so that would be the second. We have to prepare them in order. Okay, so our second financial statement that's prepared. Now the third financial statement is the balance sheet. Okay, now, you pay close attention to the balance sheet here and the way that it is dated. Okay, Header is the same company name, financial statement name, but the date is as of December 31st, 2015. So that means that this financial statement does not cover a time frame. This financial statement shows us the balances in these specific um, balance sheet accounts as of that specific date, December 31st, 2015. Not a day earlier, not a day later. So it's sometimes referred to the statement of financial position at a specific point in time. So I'm going to repopulate my text color here, and we can go over this. Okay. So we got a we got a balance sheet, and on our balance sheet we have all of our assets, all of our liabilities and all of our equity items listed. Okay. For now, I want you to note that the sum of my sum of my assets, right? 2.617 million is in balance with the sum of my liabilities and stockholders equity. That's why it's called a balance sheet. Those are the two things that we're balancing out. Okay. Now, that ending retain earnings figure that we figured out over here on the retained earnings statement, notice that that figure is getting pulled over here into the equity section. Okay, so you've got 1.957 million okay, in um, retained earnings that sits in the equity section. Study the way the things flow in this financial statement. I, I left out a figure for common stock, okay? But, you know, technically if we had common stock in there, maybe 25,000 or we could put this thing back into balance. Um, okay, and we would be in balance. So if we had that common stock in there, that would be a second piece of equity. Now, I need you to go and read and go over in your book what each of these types of accounts are, what expenses are, what revenue is, what dividends are. Okay, so this is what you want to do. You want to go and get familiar with what these highlighted terms are, okay, what dividends are, what assets are, what liabilities are what equity is, okay? Spend some time reading about those in your book because they're all different, okay? Sometimes I get students that mistake revenue for assets. They're not the same thing, okay? Thank you.